Thank you for joining me for this edition of Beautiful Two Creations with Donna. If you're interested in learning how to remove your front glass panel from your oven door in order to clean it, please continue watching this video, which is already in session. Now there are several pieces of glass that make up your oven door, and I thought I was going to be able to take out all of those pieces, but once I got in there, I wasn't able to do that and I started recording and because I couldn't get to all of the pieces of glass I deleted the original video I was talking to a dear friend of mine and she was like no I need to know how to get that glass out so I thought I would just re-record at least showing you all how to take that piece of glass out of the front of your oven to get it clean okay let me stress um, you may want to refer to your uh, warranty your manufacturer's warranty before doing this if you were to do this and you damage your oven um, it's probably going to avoid your warranty so do this at your own risk do this at your own risk did I say do this at your own risk do it at your own risk don't be tearing up your oven door and then you telling the peoples that I made you tear your oven up okay so if you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't do it. But if you do, then take your time. Be very careful. I'm going to use, for mine, I use a Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips head. And whatever cleaning products you want to use. Now the first time I did it, I used, um, I had to use some SOS. I used some Borax. And I use some window cleaner, whatever window cleaner you choose to use. If you want to do natural, I try to be green sometimes, but y'all, I had to pull out the real chemicals because, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, I had to pull out some serious stuff because I had to do some scrubbing and, and, and stuff. So, whatever you choose to use, once you get the glass out, just use it, get it clean, but let me seriously stress, just be very, very careful. Don't tap your oven, I'm telling you, please don't be tearing it up and be trying to blame me, because, you know, it ain't going to be my fault, but I'm, I'm just trying to help you out. Okay, so I'm going to show you exactly what I did, how I got the glass out, how we put it back in, and hopefully this is going to be of some benefit to you, to somebody. I'm sure it will be, because I, I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one that was using a dish cloth to cover up my glass because it looked good and terrible. And you see those little bitty little grooves? I mean, it's amazing how stuff would just drop down in there. I'm like, are you serious? Are you serious? So I'm going to show you how I got it clean. Now when I open the oven door, I'm going to prop it up using this little it's a portable little file box that I have. I'm going to prop it up there using that. And these are the little screws that I'm going to unscrew. You see the little screw right there? I'm going to use my Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew that one there. And then I'm going to go to the other side and unscrew this one. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm getting ready to start unscrewing the two screws on the end so that I can remove the glass. Again, I have a Phillips head screwdriver and I'm going to use this little file box here to just to support the door as I have it open. Now as I start to unscrew, it's going to start loosening the handle. So I have to make sure that I hold it. and. It's also going to be a good time once you get these handles off, you would be surprised the, the, you probably wouldn't be surprised, but anyway, the grease and glue and stuff that's around the handle. So make sure you take the time to clean this side of the door too where you remove the handle, okay? So I'm using my Phillips head and let me get on my knees so I can put a little pressure and I'm just... I'm going to kind of hold this here. Okay. 
it look like this is turning. Let me get a okay. This is also a Phillips head, it's just a, a different kind. So you're still using a Phillips head. You see how this has come apart. The handless has come off this side. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Make sure you're holding the handle so when it comes loose, it won't fall. Okay. Be very careful. And be careful because once it comes loose, Once you start taking it loose and both screws are out, this piece right here is, is it will kind of spring up by itself. So make sure you're holding this. Again, do this at your own risk, okay? But you can do it if you just take your time. Remember, when you get that other screw loose and it it separates, this piece is gonna wanna see it'll wanna spring up by itself, okay? So we're gonna kind of hold that until it's all the way up. This is the glass. This piece of glass is just laying in here. So be very, very careful. It's just laying in here. And I'm going to just pick it up. I have a, I've prepped my countertop with a, a thick towel and I'm going to take it out and lay it very carefully on the countertop. Uh, real talk, if you're very uncomfortable doing this, please don't do it. I just wanted to show you that it is possible. You may feel a little more comfortable if you had somebody to help you do this. Uh, my husband calls me Lucy, as in Lucille Ball. He said, you always doing something. So, yeah, I'll try something like this by myself. Until I break something, I'd be like, oh, did I do that? But anyway, I'm going to take this out. Be careful. And I'm going to sit it on my countertop. Okay, so at this point, use whatever cleaner of choice that you choose to use and get it clean. I don't have to do as much because again, I've already done this. But I just wanted to show you that it is doable if you choose. I will admit, when I when I started taking this loose, ooh, I was feeling a little nervous. I was feeling some kind of way. I said, ooh, if I break this glass, my husband's going to be mad. So, continue cleaning it. Also, don't forget to take an opportunity to clean your handle because grease builds up around this part. So clean your handle and clean the front of the door as well while you have the handle off. Now once I got the glass out, I was able to clean down there somewhat, but y'all, I was nervous. I said, let me leave well enough alone and get my glass clean and get it back in. I did. I started feeling some kind of way. Okay, so now the glass is back in there. Be very careful 
I can't stress that enough, really. Um, and it's just it just fits back in there. Then we're gonna grab this part again. Make sure that your glass is placed back in there the right way because when you pull this down, um, you don't want to just make sure that it's placed in the correct way so you won't pull this down and crack your glass, okay? So, and as you pull it down, Make sure that the holes line up, the screws line up. That side did. Let's see. Let's get this side to come through. And I'm going to take my handle. And hold one side. Side. I'm just trying to get it screwed in just a little bit and then that way I'll have more control to tighten it. Because I'm holding the handle and the door all with my hand and my palm so once I get it started then I can go back and, and tighten. You see that's still loose. But I got it started here on both sides. Tighten this more. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So it's done. Um, it looks so much better. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. In the kitchen with me. We was in the kitchen today. So now I don't have to dish towel there and even though I couldn't get to the other glass um, like this right here I don't know what this is and this is why I wanted to get to to all of the pieces of glass but that wasn't possible at least for me so I said okay you know what I can't worry about that but getting this front glass clean it has made whoo it's no longer an eyesore in my kitchen okay so do it at your own risk, but it's doable. Thank you so much for joining me. I already look forward to you joining me again next time.